months later. I don't need disturbance. Anyways, let me check the message. What? What am I seeing? Erica, my best friend, got married to Nicholas, my longtime fiance. <laughs> How can they do such a thing to me? No, I don't understand. They can't be married. I will go to Nicholas' house and find out myself. I need an explanation for this betrayal. Hi baby, thank you so much, for accepting to be my wife. In fact, you are the best thing that have ever happened to me. <laughs> oh come on, I rather have to thank you for choosing me instead. In fact I am blessed to be your wife. Baby, it seems someone is at the door, please check. Oh my god so it is true, Erica you are really married to Nicholas, how could you do such an inhumane thing, we have been best friends for years, but you still went ahead to steal my man. What do you mean I stole your man, didn't I meet Nicholas before you, it is only right that he and I ended up together. Oh Erica, I didn't know that you envied me, how can you cover it and snatch my man, you are very wicked. You are not the only person who deserves good things, I deserve it too, and Nicholas deserves it too, he deserves better than a Bareb woman. Come out baby, you have a visitor. Now you, face him and not me, I'm out from here. You insulin woman, how dare you come to my house and talk to my wife like that, the next time you try that again. I will beat the crap out of you what makes you think you deserve a man like me with your barrenness, nonsense. Get out of my house before I show you the other side of the world, nonsense. I'm sorry sir. Sorry for yourself barren woman. Pastor, I'm in trouble. Sister Pete, what could be the problem? Pastor, the Lord has welded his sort of anger against me, everything is going bad in my life. Tell me, what have you done? The Lord only punishes and chastises children of disobedience, now tell me what you did. Pastor I have committed the act of fornication and murder, Pastor it's not just any murder. I have caused the blood of an innocent soul I have committed an abortion. You did what? I am doomed Pastor, I can't bear this anymore. Sister Peace, calm down slowly tell me what happened. A minute later, after she has disclosed to the pastor, on what happened. You mean all this happened, and you didn't inform even your mum? Pastor, I felt so ashamed I didn't want to expose my shame, not even to my parents. And I was afraid I would be expelled, or suspended from the church if things were made public. So where is he, Brother Nicholas? I haven't seen him at church for a long time. Well, Pastor after I saw his wedding pictures with Erica, I went to confront them. He beat me up, and I had to run away from the house, Pastor I have been through a lot, and I can't complain because I brought it all upon myself. I deserve it all, but I don't understand why everything is going well for Nicholas, when we both committed those sins. I have prayed and fasted, for the Lord to have mercy on me and forgive me, and restore me, but none of my prayers has yielded any results. The medications the doctor gave me also, my body is not responding, pastor, I am too young to be barren. Please intest for me please, help me tell the Lord Almighty, that I am sorry for all that I have done and I really regret it. Peace, indeed you have sinned against the Lord, but I want to tell you there's always hope for the sinner. There is hope that the Lord will forgive you if you repent and ask for forgiveness. Plead and ask for forgiveness, have you not read in 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But pastor I have really repented of my sin, oh how I wish I didn't walk that path Nicholas has led me on. A path of destruction and ditched me, may he never find peace. Peace, see what I'm talking about. What do you mean, pastor? 
I mean that you have not repented, you may have repented from the act of fornication and murder, but you still harbor the sin of unforgiveness and bitterness, even though you regret your actions, but you haven't forgiven Nicholas or yourself, and until you do so. In fact nothing good from the Lord will come your way, until you have forgiven both yourself and brother Nicholas, remember it is written in Ephesians chapter. Let all bitterness and wrath, anger, glamour and slander be put away from you along, with all malice, the kinds of one another, tender-hearted forgiving one another as God forgave you. Mark chapter 11 verse 25 And whenever you stand praying, forgive if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father also who is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. So you see why your pray for forgiveness has proved futile, that is because you have not forgiven yourself, or the man who put you through all of it. Forgiveness plays an essential role in the life of, every Christian, no matter how big or small someone hurts you, you were mandated to forgive them let go of every grudge and bitterness in your heart. By doing so, you will find the courage and strength to forget, many people have missed the blessings and retrogressed in life, due to unforgiveness and bitterness, anyone who refuses to forgive others is an enemy of God, unforgiveness is a great sin, people with unforgiveness and bitterness in their hearts have no peace. Oh pastor, you are very right, the hatred in my heart is enormous, I hate myself for what I did, and even more I hate Nicholas and Erica for what they have put me through, no wonder I pray so much yet my heart is still heavy. Pastor how can I exercise forgiveness how can I forgive Nicholas and Erica, how can I forgive myself and let go of all the bitterness? The first thing you need to do is to acknowledge your sin, own up to your actions even though you were hurt, you were not forced by anyone you made all those decisions because you wanted to please Nicholas. When he first demanded for intimacy and threatened you of losing him, a serious-minded Christian would have let go of such a man, or better still find other ways to talk him out of it, but you were so canal that you just jumped into it. Accept the pains of the incident, humble yourself and endure the aftermath, remember not a dime of sin will go unpunished before the Lord, admit that you did everything willingly if you continue to think you were coerced into it you will never see the need to forget. Afterwards pray with the scriptures I have just given you, and ask God to forgive you, ask God to give you the power and strength to forgive and by so doing, I believe the good Lord will see you through. Oh pastor, thank you very much I am glad for seeking you out on my problem, the Lord has really spoken with me through you. Thank you, please I promise to practice everything you said, and I believe I will see the face of God. Amen sister peace, may it be well with you. Father in heaven I come before you and all humility and repentance O Lord Jesus I thank you for your great grace upon my life. My Lord please I ask for your forgiveness and every aspect of my life please forgive me for my known and unknown sins. Forgive me for my deliberate and mistaken sins I have acknowledged my sins O Lord. I am a sinner and I have done that which is unpleasant in my side I have followed the desires of my heart and walked to canal life. I admit my sins O Lord I did everything willingly clearly knowing it will displease you but Lord please forgive me. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness O Jesus I confess my sins to you and repent from all of it I repent from unforgiveness and bitterness please forgive me and help me to forgive others. Help me to walk my steps in you O Lord leave me on the path of righteousness remove any carnality from my life. Wash me and cleanse me in your blood this I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Years later. I'm glad you honored my invite sister peace. You're welcome brother James. Thank you. May I know why you called me out please. Peace, I have something I have been wanting to tell you, but I really don't know where to start from. Brother James, since I am already here I think you should try and start from somewhere. Very true. Sister Peace, I've been observing you at church for some time now. The Lord has placed your thought in my heart and mind. I can't stop thinking about you, I really wish to have you as my wife. In fact I even went to ask our pastor to confirm your status, I wanted to make sure you were available. I told him about my interest in you and he acknowledged me to make it known to you first. You know you can't just propose to church members anyhow. Brother James, what are you driving at please? I would like to ask you to marry me, please I humbly ask you to be my woman. What? Marry you? Yes, peace. But brother James, you barely know me. 
In fact, you don't know anything about me. Sister Peace, we have been in the same church for a very long time. And I think that time alone is enough for me to know you. I see H in your zeal and passion towards the things of God. I have witnessed your pushing anality and humility, and I find you very fitting as a wife aside of physical aspect. The Lord has really placed you in my heart. I believe you and I are a match made in heaven. But please I'm not trying to pressure you. You can think about it for as long as you wish. Also pray about it and seek the Lord's confirmation too. I am not in a hurry. I will wait. Okay, brother James. I will think about it and get back to you in a week. Oh, thank you, peace. I am very grateful. But please, there's one more thing. I happen to have a child. It happened when I was an unbeliever. I cannot hide a thing like that from you. But I hope this will not impact your decision. Don't worry, brother James. I will think things through and take it into prayers. Also, I will respond to you in a week. Thank you very much, peace. You're welcome. Oh God, what do I do? Brother James is indeed a good and humble man. But how can I marry him? How do I tell him I am barren and can't have children? Even though he has a child it can still be a bother to him. Any man would be bothered by this. Who would want to marry a barren woman? Even if they had 10 children they still wouldn't want to marry a barren woman. No, I have to turn him down. No, I shouldn't. What if he is the will of God for me? What do I do? Oh Lord, oh Lord, please help me. Oh my God, I will complain to him, and if he is your will for me, let him accept me as I am. I'm glad you returned to me. I can't marry you, James. But why? I am barren, James. I am barren. I can't give you children. I lost my womb two years ago in the process of abortion. I know you will never marry a barren woman like me no matter what. <laughs> You're what? Do you know what? I will like to leave now. I want to clear things of my head. Have a great day. You, Erica. Pack your things and leave my house. We have been married for two solid years yet you have been unable to bear me any children. I have nowhere to go Nicholas, and do you think I will allow you to walk all over me like you did with peace? You must be crazy I will not leave this house. It was your choice to marry me, and I didn't force you, I didn't also promise to give you children. I did not ditch peace for this. <laughs> Why do you think I married you? If I wanted a childless marriage, I wouldn't have considered someone like you, I would have married my precious peace. What? Your precious peace? Now you know she is precious. Nonsense after what you did to her. Look here. You better pack up and leave before I come back. If I come and still meet you here you will regret knowing me. All that you know is to eat and spend my hard-earned money. Ever since we married, you have refused to use your hands to work. You have made yourself a housewife. The most painful part is you don't even know how to cook. You can't bear me children. Cook food for me to eat or support me in life. What is your purpose in my life? Did my enemies sell me to you? If they did, tell them you didn't find me because I will no longer entertain you in this house. Why should I use my hands when I am married? Isn't that the reason why I married you? No, do I even look like a maid to you? You must be joking do I even look like a chef to you? If you wanted food to eat you should have married a chef. And for your information, I am not an incubator Mr. Man, so you better stop disturbing my ears with childbearing. If you wanted a child that bad, you wouldn't have aborted your pregnancy with peace. And that is the greatest regrets of my life. You have messed up her life, and now you want to mess up mine too. In your dreams. I'm going out by the time I am back I don't even want to smell your shadow in my house nonsense. I will be waiting for you here, nonsense, you will come back and meet me here. Hello James, I was surprised when you asked to see me, why am I here? Sorry for the last time, actually. He apologized to her, and made it known to her that marrying her is the will of God for him. So now when am I going to see your parent? Next week won't be bad. You are not going anywhere Nicholas, this is all you do, you leave home in the and come home in the morning. My friend get off my way now or else I will show you the other side of me. Anyways give me the money I asked you for, I need to fix my hair. Get of my way. Did you just push me again? 
What can you do? Somebody help me. <laughs> four years later. I can't believe we are married for four years with two kids. Indeed what God cannot do does not exist. Say it again, babe. Not just that. See how God has blessed us with too much wealth in addition. I hope you enjoyed and have learnt a lot from this short movie. If you will love to see more from this channel, please subscribe, like and share for it will be a blessing to others. And I thank you all my loyal families. God bless you for your love and support. Bye bye and see you on our next video.